Hello, and thanks for checking out Castaway. I'm Jameis Buck, Castaway's author, and in this video, we'll be looking at some of what Castaway can do. A Castaway script is just a Ruby program. In it, you declare sound clips that are composed into a soundtrack, as well as scenes that are each composed of different elements. The simplest kind of element is a still image, or slide, like our title screen. The title screen was a bit fancy, though, because it faded in from black. We did this by first creating a matte black still frame, and then having our title screen dissolve in over it. If you want another scene to dissolve in over a previous scene, that's easy. Just have the first element of the new scene enter a half second early, and then dissolve in. Piece of cake! Sometimes you want to highlight something in your presentation by pointing an arrow at it. This is easy to do in Castaway 2. First, prepare an image that you want to be your arrow. Any image will do. Any size, any color, any orientation. Just note the coordinates of the hotspot, or the position of the pointer. Then, in your script, declare your pointer. Be sure and tell it the location of the hotspot and the size of the arrow. This size is relative to the size of the frame, so here we're saying we want the arrow to be 10% of the frame size. Lastly, in any scene where we want a pointer, we add a pointer element, tell it where it should be, and how it should be rotated. We can even dissolve the arrows in and out, just like still frames. Sometimes we want the arrows to move around. Maybe we want to highlight different parts of the frame, like this. Easy enough. We just use the path command and tell the arrow where we want it to be at each time point. The times are all relative to the moment the arrow enters the scene. Notice too that we're using relative positions, fractions of the frame size, so that we can render our movie at any resolution. Okay, so what about text? You can display text overlaid on your frame with the text command. Notice that we're using a matte still frame as the background here, which let us treat the text as a slide of its own. Just like that. What about sound though? Easy enough. Castaway integrates with the Chosette library for working with the SOX utility. We can declare sound clips in our script, either as simple audio files like this, or we can have a clip be the product of some audio manipulation. Here, we're fading a clip in, then out after 15 seconds, then fading it back in, and then out again, and padding the middle with silence. This becomes our theme music track, fading in, then out as the narration starts, and then fading back in at the end. Those clips are then fed into the soundtrack command, which is used to combine and mix the clips into a single output. Here, we mix our narration track and our theme music track, making the music duck, or reduce in volume, when the narration track starts. Finally, when our movie finishes, we'd like to scroll some credits. This is straightforward too. First, we create a tall image listing the folks we want to credit, describe it as a sprite in the castaway script so it won't be forced to the frame's resolution, and resize it so it has the same width as the frame. Then we add a pan command, telling it to pan vertically over the course of a few seconds. We put an explicit exit command in there so that we can have the bottom of our credit screen stick around for a few more seconds before fading to black. The result? Some lovely scrolling credits. Thanks for watching, and happy casting.